<laughs> Welcome back, YouTube. Another Pokemon Duel video. Didn't get to the live stream today because, uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of weird phone calls. And I'm going to be off the next nine days, so eh, really not going to have time. But, anyways, this is a team I've been kind of messing around with and I've been enjoying. It's a beat 'em up team. It's just go in and beat them. Heavy hit. You have three Magna Zones. You got the Tapa Coco. You have, or Tapa, Tapa, Tapa Lele. It's a Tapa Lele. Tapa Lele. I think. Tapa Coco? The electric one. You know what I'm talking about. You have the Zapdos, and you have the Mew. And the premise about it is, of course, um, two of the Magna Zones are Evo. So you're going to go Magneton to Magna Zone. You're going to get that plus one movement with the 110 damage base that goes up to 130 by himself. 150 with number two, 170 with all three of them out. You can hit for 200 if you're on the attack, and an additional 210 to 220 from the two energy plates. So you see, he's got Rush, so I put the Tappa going in. Should have done Mew. In hindsight, that should have been Mew. But I figured he might try to Rush. I don't know. And just like any other beat him up or you know, high power deck. You want to get your setup. Decks that require on pumps from other book, other figures. You want to get the setup. He puts Mewtwo out, which I think is kind of interesting because Magneton has a chance to beat Mewtwo. So I put up the other Magneton. Of course, the goal is to get... And here, I'm like, alright. I have to put the buff out to help out against the Gengar. When I could have just uh, possibly moved Tap up or just gone in and swung anyways to get the plus 30 damage. Which would have brought Magneton's uh, 80 up to 110. But all the other ones lose. But I really like the Magneton because the um, the try attack. As you can see here, he has like. They all put a random effect. It's either paralysis, freeze, or burn. When he's KO'd. So he's toxic. Wasn't feeling that too well. Had to move the Tappa in. To prevent him from just winning. He goes ahead. He double chances. And he goes for that KO. He goes for that quick win. That everybody's doing now with the Tappas and the Gengars. I'm like alright. Quick attack. Yes. Let's get the purple. Hit the toxic. Please. No. He abyssal grip, so. And from here, I go block with. Go block, right? I have go block, yeah. I go block with the Magna Zone. Magna Zone, best chance of surviving out of the three on there. He could outpower me. I don't know if he realized that or not. Because he didn't attack again. But he could have he, he could have outpowered me by about 20 damage. Instead, he sets up. So I'm like, all right, I got it. I'm gonna do Mew. I'm gonna go for him. I'm gonna take out the Mega Gengar. Send him in. Go for the attack. And what happens, folks? He hits the dodge. It's all right. It's his last turn. He could attack. He could retreat. I'm going to surround if he fails. He moves away. De evolves. Oh, first he attacks. And the one thing, really? He couldn't even throw an effect on that he would just remove. No. No. <laughs> well, the problem with this team is there is um, susceptible purples. That's why I have Mew, Tappa, Zapdos. Other than the fact they're electrics and they work well together, except for the Mew, of course. They're also my gold attackers. They help out with the purple because these these figures, the Magnazon, the Magnazones, are very susceptible to purples. And here comes this Mewtwo, man. That Mewtwo does some work. <laughs> so I'm alright. He's got the Zapdos coming down. I gotta get my buffers out. I get the Tappa. I put it next to Mewtwo. 
because I didn't want him going for Mew with Zapdos, really. And there I got the blue and the gold. I guess Mew has that too, but I wanted to keep the Mew out because that Gengar's there. Uh, Mew can withstand a big attack from Mew too. He goes for it. I'm like, yes. Yes. Let's do it again. Let's spin it again. No. He gets 71 Psycho Cut. And here I am just playing real defensive because I'm down. I have not been getting rolls. I decided to flip out. Start flipping out my energies. And I think at some point here, I got knocked at the door. The dog's going to eat quiet. I don't even know what he does right here. It didn't even look like anything moved. Okay, he advanced the zap. Because there's a salesman at the door. I didn't know door to salesman was still a thing. My dog's going crazy. So sometime burns off. I don't know how much. I'm like, alright. Got the lesser energy, flip the steel energy. Does not remove nauseous? I thought it removed nauseous and poison. Turns out it does not remove nauseous. Surprise. Like I said, this is a team I'm working on. I really like the Magnemite Magnazone. I did have a game. Look at that. Random number. Don't know who the hell it is. It's called me like three times today already. No, no, no voicemails. I double chance Zapdos. I'm like, all right. Gotta KO something. Let's get rid of the Zapdos. Go for it. We spin. Thunder Charge. No. There you go. <laughs> Take him out. And the heat ramp. The thing I was thinking about that heat ramp. Like, all right. He has 112. He will beat me by one. Mewtwo comes out, goes for it, hits my 60, knocks me a 40. At least I paralyze him. That doesn't say much, it just removes his dodge. I have no plates left. I'm like, alright, Zapdos, you gotta do it. Get it. I think my Zapdos goes on a bit of a tear. Greninja comes down. I'm like, all right, Zapdos, it's all you, buddy. Get it. Nope, dodge. All right, it's all right. Very defensive position again. I believe the heat ram comes down. Yeah. And he goes for it on the zap. Oh, buddy. Come on. He hits a miss. I couldn't. Oh, I could have hoped for mana slide. But he hits that miss, and I celebrate. I'm like, yes. This lets me get my mana torn out. Hopefully get the Evo. Because I wish I recorded it. I did have a game where I hit over a 200... Um, attack with Magna Zone. And the only thing I think the challenge that besides multiple spin moves is Blastoise, Mega Blastoise with a full water team. A full water team with a single mana feed, I believe, hits for 220. And my Magna Zone can hit for 220. When lined up with another electric Pokemon and on the attack, I can hit for 220. Which is big, which is why I'm I'm working on this. This is the next team. I got almost all my staples. I just gotta get Blaziken up to five. He just keeps fly on a tri attack. It's like yes. That leaves me an opening, a huge opening for Manaton to run up. I'm just saying, Blaziken almost to level five. I have all my other ones I regularly use to level five. And now I think I'm going to start finishing using this team. Uh, I'm going to get the Zapdos to 10. I'm going to get the Tap of the 10. And I hit it. 
Watch it go up. Watch it go up. 120 to a 101. And this gives me the Evo. So I'm working on getting I'm working on these magnets on the magnetons up to five. Possibly ten. He's got a hurl jump, he's got the goal block. I got straight shot so far. So now he has the goal block. And I have this massive magna zone. Absolutely massive. A 150 hitting magna zone. At this moment in time, I can out I can beat his Rayquaza. Damage on damage. He hits the fly, he gets out of that. 160. He gets to fly. Get out of here. So once again, hurdle jumps. Blocks it off again. The only the only matchup I do not want is my purple on the gold. I hit the shockwave to a fly. He has that fly over once again. At this point, I think I would go with Mewtwo, actually. Tax in, he hits energy break. At this point, break my energy, sir. I don't care. 160 flash cannon. Get out of here. And I'm going to take that victory. See, I really like it. It's a beater deck. It is a beater deck. It's meant for high damage, high power. Everything here is to buff the Magnetons and Zones. They buff themselves, the mana Zones. But at the same time, you get the buff from Tappa, you get the buff from Steel Energy, you get the buff from Electro Energy. I just hope some time boosters here, nothing real special in them. But, yeah, you got a possible 220 damage out of it. Um, perfect condition, on a perfect attack, 220 damage. Um, I am going to reduce the purples. I think that's the weakest part on them. When I do eventually take them up to 5 and 10. But, yeah. This is the team I'm working on. Maybe switch it up a little. Maybe cut back the mana zone. I'm not sure. I think I really still want to go for that 220. On three figures. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Red Tuba. You have yourself a great day.